Good morning, everyone. My name is Patrice. I am not Dave. He'll be following me. I'm here to represent the uh, 50s, which I am fast approaching. I came out to myself as a lesbian when I was 21 and to my immediate family when I was 25. But I never told my Grandma Dorothy, or Grandma Dot as we called her. Grandma was a quiet, intense, God-fearing woman who didn't so much thump her Bible as live a life that strives to reflect its goodness and to share the good word. Nancy and I were in Kentucky this past weekend, visiting the two towns where my Grandma Dot grew up. We visited her grave and the graves of my great-grandparents. We visited with cousins who also came to Kentucky and who, those who live in Kentucky. We saw on the wall of Weathers Drug, founded 1875 in Elkton, Kentucky, an old, old photograph of my great-great-grandmother and the extended family who owned her as a house slave, including my great-great-grandfather and my great-great-great-grandfather. On Sunday, we attended the Christian Methodist Episcopal Freeman Chapel, the church my grandmother and my great-grandparents attended. Reverend Robert Peoples introduced visitors, and as he welcomed my immediate family, he said he recognized us. Sister Dorothy had been, been a member of his congregation in Anchorage, Alaska. Reverend Robert said he remembers Grandma Dot as someone he, he could always count on when things needed doing. My grandmother loved me, but I was always afraid to tell her that I was a lesbian. I didn't want to see the look in her eyes when she realized I would not ascend to her heaven. Grandma died in 2004, but recently my mother recounted a visit by her, my father, and my grandma Dot while I was at college. I was out to friends, but not family at that point. My mother told me that as they drove back home, Grandma Dot said she thought I might be gay. I was shocked. <laughs> My grandma had seen me in a way I thought not possible. Shame on me. In my early 30s, she told me I didn't need a man to have a good life. I can't ask her now, but maybe she was opening the door, a door that I was not brave enough to step through. I wish I had been. I wish I had shared my life with Grandma Dot. I wish I had introduced her to Nancy. My grandmother was a strong woman, a missionary for Jesus Christ and for her church. But if I had known what I've learned amongst you, my liberal, progressive, UU family and community, perhaps I could have shared with Grandma Dot my UU vision of Jesus of Nazareth. And through that, I might have stepped through that door to share with her joyfully my whole life. <laughs>